sir you spoke about social stigma so what are the other uh, you know myths that are there around thalassemia so the myth around thalassemia the primary myth around thalassemia is that it being a genetic disease it is transmitted 100% of the time uh, once a, a couple has a thalassemic child they will always have a thalassemic child that is the biggest myth that is surrounding this uh, problem uh, like i said thalassemic carriers even if they are married and have a child with thalassemia have a 75% chance of having a normal pregnancy even after having a thalassemia child and in fact that normal child can actually act as a donor for the already thalassemic child and this can be ensured through a prenatal diagnostic technique which is a very simple technique of testing the dna of the fetus through either the uh, samples taken from the uh, amniotic fluid or from the chorion villi of a pregnant lady uh, this is a specially specialized procedure carried out by fetal medicine medicine specialists in consultation with geneticists we must contact them and uh, we must get that discussion in the mainstream and also this misconception that you should not marry a carrier you know that automatically makes a carrier a stigmatized person number one then if once it is associated with stigma nobody will do a carrier testing why will they do it if they want if they are going to attract stigma so it's easier for easy for me to say that you should do carrier testing but in the society if you are going to treat the carrier as a uh, as an abnormal person nobody is going to uh, have children bear children and that is not true carrier does not mean that he or she will transmit the disease 100% of the time which only 25% of the time the second thing is one genetic disease in family means the family is already having a bad gene pool and that is wrong this is a very specific mutation which happens in a specific area of the gene it does not have anything to do with any other uh, organ system at all and it, it is totally preventable the third thing is patient who has thalassemia cannot lead a normal life so that is not true we have quite advanced primary care therapy therapeutics now we are hoping for a molecule called uspatercept which will probably come to india which will reduce the transfusion burden of these patients and through iron proper iron chelation timely transfusions we can have a normal to near normal lifespan even in thalassemia children